what is the best and easiest way to find plus EV bets? Welcome to Juice Bets. My name is Trevor. Today, this is a question that people keep asking me. What is the best way to find profitable plus EV bets? And I'm sure you know what my answer is, but let me get into exactly why it is Odds Gem, right? Why Odds Gem is by far the best option for finding plus EV bets in a quick, timely, and easy manner, right? Because that at the end of the day, that is the most important thing here is we want to find accurate plus EV bets. We want it to be quick and easy for us, and we want to be on our way, right? This is a side hustle. This is something that we want to use throughout our day to make more money, be a great side hustle, be profitable, but we want it to be easy, okay? And so let's dive into the Odds Jam software, and I'll show you exactly how I find these bets. So there are two ways to find plus EV bets with Odds Jam, right? The number one way is on their positive expected value tool. And this is this is my home, right? This is where I've been living the past four months. And it makes finding bets ridiculously easy. So I'll show you how to set it up and then we'll take a look at it here. So first of all, you want to make sure that you are selecting the sports books that you have access to, right? And so that, that depends completely on where you live and where you have accounts and deposits set up. And so first of all, I would totally recommend to deposit on as many platforms and sports books as you can. Obviously making sure that you're selecting a sports book that is legitimate and that you are putting in money that you, you know, you are okay to not have in your bank account, right? Let's not go crazy and put all of our money to be gambling, although it is plus EV betting and so it is profitable in the long run, but be comfortable with the amount of money that you're using. Make sure you still you still have money in your bank account, right? So once you understand what books you have access to and you've deposited on as many as you can, then what I would do is I would come in here and I would select the sports books that you have access to. This will then filter out all of the other books that you don't have access to and you don't have accounts on. So it'll make things a lot more clean for you, right? So every bet that pops up, you can definitely take. And then what else, the other thing I would do is I would come into the minimum and max odds and the market width, right? So the min and max odds in general, I like to have a little bit of a cap on it, but what you can do is you can also just put a cap on the width and put a cap on the min max odds. And then it kind of keeps you at a good, good range because if you don't have this, you're going to see tons of bets pop up that are, for instance, right now in with MLB playing, you're going to have tons of bets pop up that are home run bets. And these have widths of 500, you know, 400, 300. That means that the sports book's not really that confident in this line. Technically, it is still profitable over time, but it's, it's not as accurate. And there's really no point, in my opinion, to tail these bets because the width is so out of whack that we want to take bets where the sports books are confident in their lines because we're trying to find value on those lines, right? So what I would do is I would either set my market width at a maximum of 60 or just set your min max odds at, you know, 200 or something, which will, it'll do the same thing. So again, sports books filter it that way and uh, your market width filter that. And then you've got your bets here, right? And now you have great filters. You can take all of the bets that pop up and you quite simply tail these bets that are popping up on the plus EV tool. Now, the other side to this is how much money you're gonna be putting on these bets. Now that you've found them, how much are you gonna be laying down? And what I, I, there's two different strategies you can do. Number one is you can do unit size. So decide on, on, on what your unit size is. And depending on the percentage bet, you can increase or decrease your unit. You know, what you could do is between one and 3% plus EV, you're doing one unit between three and 6%, you're doing two units between six plus, you know, six to 10%, you're doing three units. I did that for a bit, but then I changed to the Kelly criteria, which allows me to basically put in my bankroll, put in my risk tolerance, and then it shows me on Odds Jam how much money to put on each bet here, right? And so that that is what I'm doing now. It's been more profitable for me. Could just be variance, could be random, but to me, Kelly Criteria makes things super easy and it allows me to track my bets easier too because what if I place this bet here, I can just go like this, 
and save. And it already puts the amount in, the odds, everything, and allows me to track my bets properly on Odds Gem. So that's the Plus EV tool. Let's head over to the Fantasy Optimizer and I'll show you how we find Plus EV bets there. So first thing in the Fantasy Optimizer is you wanna be looking at the sports books that you have access to. Being in Canada, I only have access to prize picks, underdog, and parlay play. None of these other sports books I have access to. So I only look at the ones that I do have access to, obviously. Second thing I do is I turn the show line differences off because I want it to be as accurate as possible. I want the sports books odds to be to be talking about the same line that that the optimizer is showing, right? And that, that it's the same line that's on, you know, either prize picks or underdogs. So I want to be as accurate as possible. And then once I'm in here, basically what you do is you look for profitable plays. And quite simply, you are trying to find plays that have the no vig or the algo odds better than uh, these odds here. So better than as in you're getting more value with the implied odds on prize picks than what the actual odds are. So this is a green play because it's minus 118.3 and this is minus 118. So it's technically you're you're getting more value if you take it on price picks, right? And so as you can see on price picks right now, there's not a whole lot of value. It's MLB season, you know, it, things aren't as great. But right here, perfectly on, on Q, underdog gives us some great value here. We get a minus 125 algo odds uh, for Brandon Marsh over on hits because as you can see FanDuel, DraftKings, Caesars, MGM all pricing it at about minus 150. You remove the VIG and we get minus 125. And so it's better to take that bet on underdog at the implied odds of minus 120 as opposed to these other sports books because you're getting minus 120. You're getting more bang for your buck. So that one there is 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 great this uh this adamus play here minus 120.14 so it's basically right there right so technically still profitable and to build out a three-man slip on underdog because that's the best way to build those remember three-man slips on underdog three or five man and so to and then if you want to build this slip out don't just build a, a two-man slip because these odds will then change right you need to build the three-man so put in this Ryan Howard play because she's she's got over 4.5 rebounds here and it's a 54.21% play. It's a little less. You're not getting as much value, but you need to put this play in to make these plays work, right? And so sometimes you need to put a, a, a yellow play in to provide the green plays with an opportunity to be plus EV. So that's how I would look on underdog. And then with parlay play, these ones again, five and six man plays, some great stuff at the top here, but not a whole, not enough to build out a slip in my opinion. So I would just be patient and wait for more. But again, we're getting minus 119 algo odds on Kenta Maeda here and his actual implied odds are minus 113. So we're getting way more value taking it on parlay of play. That's how I find my plus EV bets. That's how I've been profitable. Um, and it's, it's really quite simple using odds jam. If you want to get access to these tools, use the link down below again, a 14 day free trial and then a 90 day money back guarantee. So, you know, your risk is very low if you're trying this out, right? So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any more questions about how I'm finding these bets, drop them in the comments down below, like the video as well. And we'll see you next time.